Hi guys this is Adan from Finlife and today we'll be talking about a pharmaceutical company called Divis Laboratories a very popular company in the field of pharmaceuticals and has a lot of exports the company is doing a lot of exports to various other countries and even supplying domestically in India we made a video on the company one year ago at that time the price of the stock was 1520 rupees and that time we were feeling that the stock is overvalued but still because of the market conditions the price continued to rise and now the price of the stock is around 1870 rupees per share overall if we see the sales growth in the company and the sales current sales in the company to, uh, for the year 2019 the sales figure came out to be 4800 crores for 2019 ending uh, that is 31st march 2019 Overall the profits that the company makes on its turnover of 4800 crores is around 1352 crores whereas the profit margins uh, are around 25 to 28%. If you talk about the growth rate in the sales the growth in the sales are coming out to be around 11.3%. This we have calculated over the last 5 years from 2015 to 2019. Overall the growth in the profitability of the stock is coming out of the sh- the the regular profitability that the company is doing on a yearly basis is coming out to be at the rate of 12%. The 2019 earning per share of the company came out to be 50.96 that is the earning per share and it has been increasing at the rate of 12% on a regular basis yearly. So extrapolating this at the same level of 12% we see that In 2020 we can expect that the stock will grow up to approximately the earning per share of the company will grow up to 57.21 and similarly it will continue to grow up to 90.88 on a yearly basis till 2024 the trade receivables in the company you can see them how they are growing from 2015 to 2019 they have been growing from 741 crores to 11 1163 crores so the trade receivables have not grown at a very massive rate so that's a wonderful thing that the company is managing its trade receivables properly and regularly receiving uh, receiving the uh, supplies and the money the supplies that it's doing it is regularly receiving the money from the clients If you see the price of the stock in 2015 the price of the stock was 926 rupees whereas it has increased to 1870 right now in 2020 overall the pe band in which the stock moves is between 17 and 31 so in order to calculate future prices we'll have to multiply the lowest pe that is 17.02 multiplied by 90.88 that is the future expected earning per share so that will give us that the stock price will be minimum of 1574 over the next 5 years and on a maximum level it will be 2888 rupees this has been calculated by multiplying 31.78 into the future expected earning per share of 90.88 so it can deliver you around 9% returns if it grows and if assuming that it will give you a 12% continuous growth rate overall uh, on the ethical front the company is pretty good being uh, price water house uh, being the auditors of the company company ceo is kiran s divi and the nearest support is at 1656 and the company since the company is continuously making its all time high so there is no resistance levels uh, and the current resistance level is the current level current price is the resistance level of the stock and there is good volume in the company and the institutional and mutual fund holding stands at 35% uh, overall the asset base in the company is strong at 8000 crores and there is virtually no debt in the company around 230 crores of debt that is negligible and the book value of the stock is 262 rupees so overall the company is looking strong but uh, you should need to be very cautious before investing in the company because the market is pretty inflated right now and uh, you can just wait on for a little bit of time though the market can rise up to levels of 12800 rupees 12800 right now but uh, a time will come when it suddenly starts falling down and correcting to around uh, levels of 11000 or 10500 10800 so you can watch out for those levels So that's about it for this talk. If you've not yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you keep on receiving such videos. And if you've got any comments, feel free to mention them in the comment box below. And uh, any more videos that you'd like us to make, please mention them in the comment box. We'll definitely do that and create content on them. So that's about it. Signing off, Sadhan Goel from Finlife. Happy investing.